everybody and welcome to episode 3 of Brunswald. In this episode we are going to work on the castle as you can see on screen. And uh, the asset I'm using here is the Hartenfels castle by uh, Titan. And I really love this asset, like it just looks amazing and the texturing and everything is just <laughs> incredible. Um, so I've been actually planning on using this uh, castle here uh, since I started the project. Uh, I know I wanted to have the castle on this exact spot here because it's uh, it's close to the like main plaza that we built in the first episode um, around the church and that place. So it's fairly close to that, and it also has the ocean on one side. So um, I, I feel like castles tend to be like fairly close to the ocean. Um, maybe maybe I'm wrong, but <laughs> I, I've seen that at least. Um, but um, as you can see here also around the castle there is water so this is like a I think it's called like water castle or like moated castle <clears throat> either one of those and uh, I really like this because it gave it a more unique touch because I've seen a lot of people use this uh, awesome asset because um, it actually comes in two versions uh, there's this one that I'm using um, that it, it's basically like pre-built um, you get the whole asset like this and then you can download the separate pieces of the asset, so you can sort of create a more custom castle. Uh, but I'm using the, um, I guess, uh, re I don't know, the uh, just asset that has everything combined, so you can just put it down, pretty simple. So I'm using that one, but yeah, so there's water around the castle, as you can see here. And I wanted to do this because uh, I, I felt like, I don't know, I first of all, I really enjoyed how it turned out. And uh, I also wanted to make a little bit more uh, unique castle, because I haven't really seen too many like water castles or moated castles in the city skylines. Um, I can't really think of any at the moment, but uh, there might be some uh, that have been done, but uh, I don't think they're that common. <laughs> haven't really seen many of them so I wanted to do something more unique and uh, I did use those um, terrain networks by Ronix that you can sink down in the ground so you can just put water there simply and that is sort of how I made the moat around the whole castle which turned out pretty nice um, but uh, but yeah so um, I think we should maybe get a name for this castle so feel free to come up with a name um, maybe not Brunswald Castle, because there sort of is a castle that is called Brunswald, but more Brunwald, without the S in real life, or not in real life, but it's actually from the Last Crusade. Um, the castle there uh, was actually called uh, Castle Brunwald, <laughs> uh, without the S, and in real life I think it's called like Grunwald Castle. Um, so maybe if we can find a, a little bit more unique name than Bronzewald Castle or something like that, um, that would be cool. So if you have any suggestions for the name of this, uh, make sure to leave those in the comments. Uh, but I'm using these breakwater assets that are made by Strictoser. I'm using those pretty much around the whole castle, just to, I don't know, make it look a little bit better around the edges. Um, and uh, I really like those assets, they they make it look very nice, so. And this little side here, uh, or this little, uh, I guess, uh, part of the castle, uh, there was like that little green open area, and I basically just put a dock there with a pathway leading to it, and then just some like bushes and trees and stuff, so. Yeah, I, I just wanted to do something there, because um, it was a little bit of a weird spot. And there wasn't really like any doors on the castle leading out that way, uh, but I still added that path to make it look like yeah, there that it was connecting to like a door or something. Anyway, now we're getting in here to the inner yard of the castle, uh, where I put down some of those uh, tables and chairs and stuff. Um, that's something I've seen in these like inner castle yards, or I'm not sure what to call them, but um, uh, there tends to be some type of like outside sitting area where you can probably take a coffee or something like that, or maybe eat. Um, I think I've seen that in some some real life locations, and then I'm adding all of these lilies. I think I'm pretty sure they're called lilies. Um, but yeah, I really like how they look, and that actually, I I looked up some pictures on like moated castles uh, in real life, and it seemed like a lot of them had those like lily pads or whatever uh, around them. So it was a pretty cool touch to add those, and definitely happy how that turned out. 
Um, I'm just working on this road here, putting down some bushes in the middle here. Um, and uh, now we're actually going over to making another thing here. And this is this um, new animated excavator that came out on the workshop. I don't know if you've seen it, uh, but it's been on like the front page for for some some time now, and it's really nice. Um, I can't remember the name of the person who made it. Um, it might be like. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not gonna guess, but yeah, um, this this asset is just super cool, and you'll see a little bit later on when I run the uh, the simulation. You'll see the excavator move, and it sort of digs up from that pile and puts it into the truck, and it's it's just really cool. I, I hope there will be more assets like that uh, on the workshop in the future, because it, it's just seriously cool <laughs> having something moving like that. So really awesome. Uh, but we're like sort of done with the castle at this point um, So I'm going over and putting down some more buildings around here and just expanding a little bit and um, And yeah, so for the castle uh, there might be some of you that know way more <laughs> about castles than I do um, So I'm not sure if everything will be realistic uh, there might be some things that are unrealistic and stuff, but I don't think I'll be changing anything to be honest, uh, because I'm I'm very happy how this castle turned out, and uh, definitely like one of my favorite builds that I've done. And uh, I felt like we needed a castle in this town. Uh, felt like that was a pretty European thing um, to have, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm just very happy how it all turned out. But everything might not be 100% realistic, but I I think it's fine. It's just a game, so. <laughs> Uh, but uh, I'm just detail detailing a little bit around this building here uh, that apparently had some like outside sitting areas with those tables there. Um, then putting down some flowers underneath the windows, which did turn out pretty nice. Um, so yeah, just some extra detailing around that building. And we'll soon be making, yeah, as you can see here, we'll be making this underground parking entrance. Um, so this is something that I... <coughs> I think it was the last episode uh, that I talked about underground parking um, that I that I wanted to have more like underground parking assets on the workshop so I actually went ahead and <laughs> made a custom one here so it's actually very simple like just put down a road and uh, sink it down with move it and turn it a little bit like this so it looks like it it continues down down under and um, then just use some like retaining walls or whatever and uh, I'm just using a lot of pavement here pavement to um, make the roof I guess and uh, yeah it's just very simple so I think I'll actually be doing more stuff like this like underground parking it's it's very simple to do and it just adds a pretty nice detail uh, between the buildings and um, yeah so definitely gonna try to do more of this um, then I'm putting down some fencing over here, and I really enjoy how these fences look. Um, I think they're kind of new to the workshop, uh, but uh, yeah, they're really nice. But I, I tried to put some like ticket machine there in the middle, but it was a little bit too tight, um, so I had to unfortunately get rid of that. Um, but yeah, definitely want to do more underground parking, uh, looks really cool. But yeah, you can see that animated excavator, excavator there, and it's just so freaking cool, I love that asset. Uh, if you haven't downloaded it yet, you should definitely go ahead and <laughs> get it and put it in, in your city. It is really cool. Um, but yeah, so I think I'm gonna leave you with some music now for a few minutes, and then I'll be back, uh, and I'll tune in and talk a little bit more, and then we'll end off the episode. So yeah, enjoy some music now for a few minutes.
So I'm working on this park area right next to the castle. And right now I'm putting down this uh, pavilion restaurant, I guess you could call it. And uh, I do really like that little asset there and uh, decided to put it down there. Um, but uh, yeah, so I've been working on that park uh, next to the castle. Which I think makes sense to have a park there uh, where people can just walk and enjoy the scenery, I guess. And uh, they would probably like had left some space around the castle when they built it. So they would know when like enemies were invading and stuff. Um, probably something like that uh, I feel would make sense. Um, so yeah, that's also one reason to have a park there. But, uh, but yeah, so doing some detailing around this uh, pavilion restaurant. I think I'm gonna call it, call it that because uh, it sort of makes sense. But it's called Octorant. Uh, on the workshop if you want to grab that it's by Acapulco and uh, And yeah, just uh, just connecting it with these uh, pathways that are made by Arnold J. Rimmer um, That I used through the whole park um, Because the the width of those are just really nice uh, because the vanilla ones are just super wide and Sometimes it just doesn't fit in parks like this with the with the vanilla pathways, so yeah, these ones were perfect, and uh, and yeah, but um, doing some more detailing on this parking lot for the castle, because um, um, parking lots, especially parking lots like this, tend to have uh, a little area where you pay for um, for your parking ticket, um, and uh, I decided to do something like that, so I made it out of those uh, curbs by uh, Ronix, I think, and uh, then put some bollards. And those ticket machi machines that are actually vanilla, I think. So, yeah, I, I just made that little spot. Thought it would add some, some cool detail, which I think it did. Uh, but uh, now we're getting into the basically final part uh, of this uh, time lapse. So, I'm making this final uh, little square over here, or this little block, I guess. Um, and I'll be doing something pretty interesting here very soon. Uh, I'm just gonna add some like bicycle racks and um, stuff like that here, but I'll actually like put in a very modern building in between all of these old buildings. And yeah, so I, I think that uh, will turn out pretty cool. So here it is. Uh, I'm putting down this uh, building and I think it's called something with Scandinavian residence. I, I don't know, something like that I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's something with Scandinavian at least. Um, so yeah, I decided to put it down right here in the middle of all of these old buildings. Because uh, this stuff you sort of see, uh, at least here in Sweden. Uh, like sometimes uh, you just walk in like an old city center with old buildings and all of a sudden just some really old, ugly, or not old, but fairly new, ugly uh, building just pops up between uh, either like from the 60s or 70s or like even more modern. So um, I wanted to do that because I feel like that makes uh, sense and I, th I think it also looks pretty realistic to add like a building like this. I feel like that would or that could probably exist in a place like this and uh, <laughs> yeah just totally destroy all of the old architecture and build something like this which seems pretty crazy to me but uh, it does happen in real life uh, anyway this time lapse is getting to an end so hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure to leave a like and also subscribe if you're new to the channel and follow me on twitter and also on instagram but that's gonna do it for this one hope you enjoyed it have a great day and i'll catch you next time Bye-bye.